Good morning, guys. All my family. Well, we're on the last, uh, the last few of these. Dark red brown. Dark red brown. Wanted to get these, uh, finished swatching so I can give y'all my final, uh, My final opinion on this. <sighs> this is Fuchsia. It's not kind of fuchsia color I'm used to, but hey, I'm not going to complain. This is why you should always swatch your pencil sets, because what one color is called in one set of pencils, it's going to be called the same in another set, but just because they have the same name don't mean they're the same color, you know. So you got to take that into consideration. That's why you, I just suggest everybody swatch your pencils. Uh, I'm OCD about it, I guess, but it does help, you know. Uh, like I said, this... Uh, Fuchsia here is not the same color as my fuchsia in any other set. They're all going to be different. This is warm gray. And it's a very light warm gray. So, good morning. <laughs> it, it's morning. It's a.m. It's very a.m. It's four o'clock. New nocturnal red. Never heard of that. New nocturnal red. That's the first time me. I some of these in this set. I've never, never seen them. And names like this in any of my other sets are kind of like, and it doesn't even look red to me. <clears throat> so, what happened to me yesterday? I was supposed to come on, I was, I had a video all planned, which was this. And I had been so sleep deprived from these steroids keeping me from sleeping. And I'd been up three or four days, close my eyes, and I'd wake up and look at the time. I only been asleep 15 minutes. Go close my eyes, go back to sleep. But that's how it's been since I started these steroids. So the, I'm going on the downside of the steroids now. You, you start out where you take the whole line of them across. Then you, you, you cut down slowly as you go through the week. Well, uh, the, like I said, the side effects are starting to, you know, lessen up. And, uh, so, on my flare, it, it's there, but barely there. So, I don't think I'll have to take another round after this. Unless she just wants to be safe about things. And I, I'm glad she's like that, though. I hope y'all can see all this. 
cobalt. Blue. Now that looks cobalt blue to me. And then again, it could be this. Oh, I hate these uh, energy saver bulbs, you know, the curly Q ones. It makes everything look orange or yellowed. White sapphire. So anyway, yesterday, I said, well, you know, I think I'll just lay down and take me a 30 minute to an hour nap, you know, and uh, be rested up, come in here and do the video. Guess what? I slept all day. By the time I woke up, it was too late to do a video because I had to come in here and fix my supper and get medicine for ye and all that. So, as I was laying in there in my med bedroom, uh, I said, well, you know what? I'll just take them for a little tour of my, my wonderful palace in there. So... Just a little glimpse into my world. I'm still shaky, so I don't know. That's always the last side effect that goes that, that lets up. It's always the last. Olive green. And this is the last one. Golden green. Oh. This looks gold to me. Okay. And like I said, if you got this uh, set and you just like don't like it just it was $14.99 for this and it, just the pencil case without the pencil is going to cost you that um yeah I don't know why I set them over there let me get me some out. And these are oil-based pencils. And I'm really a wax fan, but, you know, hey. Uh, I don't know. Grape. Fuchsia. I'm gonna try these right here. So let's test these puppies out. Oh my god. Gotta take a break a minute here. Let me get situated. I have to resituate myself. Ever. Anyway, here's the whole set swatched out. The whole set. 72 pencils. So. 
let's see how they do on the old blending and shading stuff here. Oh, me, oh my. Red brown. Great. I think this is fusion. Yep. Okay, so they don't blend real good, but that doesn't tell me anything. Um. Because they're oil based. Well, oil based don't uh, just gonna use one. Let me tell you something, that color, you just barely touch the paper and, it, and it's coloring. I mean, you do not want to put any pressure at all on these because you can burnish it in one stroke. <laughs> these things do lay down with no, I'm not, I'm just dragging it across. I'm not putting any pressure at all on it. And it Okay, so you don't have to strain your hands, cause uh, I'm not gonna get try to get all fancy with it here, cause oh, ah, uh. uh. no need to get all fancy with it. This is just for test. Test the purposes only. Doing real good. So far, so good. But you better not mash on that paper too hard. Because the payout on these is awesome. So this is how they're doing. Like I said, they're oil, so you have to layer. Uh, but you don't want to mash on these at all. No. Oh. oh, God, my leg. No why it hurt so bad. Of course, I could go on all day layering these because, like I said, they, they don't take no effort to put color down. So you're going to get some more light layers. That's what they do. So that's that. Um, I'm not going to continue with it all the way uh I'm not gonna finish the whole pedal on this 
just need to just check and see how they do. Now they do sharpen up good too. Without a whole lot of waste. But it's because of their oil. They're not waxy soft. They're soft. They're not like prism colored. So we've got this. Which is just a test. It's not uh, so, yeah, I like the way they lay down. Like I said, they lay down easy. You do not have to mash on them. Um, and this is a Hurney, H-U-R-E-N-Y, 72 set oil pencils. Um, I do like the lay down. I do like how you can, I, I do like the way they layer with each other. Now, I don't know that they would work well with another oil pencil, say, um, my Star Joy Gold. I don't know, because sometimes, sometimes oil pencils don't like to play well with other oil pencils, and so you, you always have to do a test before you don't mix different brands of pencils until you know that they're going to play well with each other. So, I look at, at a few things when I rate a pencil. Is um, the value, uh, the, the quality, um, and any extra bells and whistles that it comes with. Like this came in a case, and if you didn't want the pencils, you could use the case and put a set of pencils that you like in it. You know, I, I look at things like that. Um, but price and quality and um, how they how they're easy to color with. It's not. Not, I mean, it's not even hurting my uh, nerves in my hands from it. Because this, this is just light. I didn't match hard on any of that. Um, the only thing I don't, don't like is so many dark colors. I mean, there's a lot of dark colors in here. I don't know why anybody... We need that many dark colors. You know, I like the brighter ones. But uh, there's there's so many dark colors. But not enough to put me off from uh, rating them what I want to rate them. And it's my fair and honest review. So based on the price, $14.99, that's a plus. Okay, it came with a case. That's a plus. Um, they lay down really well. That's a plus. Don't like all the dark colors. That's not a plus. But they did layer and blend over there on that pedal good. So my experience with these is going to be a 7.5 out of 10. That's what I'm going to rate them. Uh, so, but like I said, if you buy the pencils and you don't like them, you can take them out of the case and put a 72 set of another pencil that you like in it and you haven't lost any money because it's $14.99. You're going to spend that on a pencil case, trust me. So, yeah, that's why I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. Um, I just, what put me off is, look at all the dark colors. I don't like a lot of dark colors. And when my page looks dark like that, I don't, I don't like that. But, so, you know, it's hard to review because what I like, somebody else might, you know, somebody might love it. I don't. Everybody's everybody's different. <laughs> so, you know, I just have to rate based on 
my experience with them. And you know, it was a pleasant, enjoyable experience, except for all the dark, drab colors. You know, I don't like, I just don't like a lot of dark. Now, I know some people that do, and they would love this set. I don't hate it. I ain't mad at it. it. You know, it's a it's a budget pencil. If I needed it in a, you know, just like if I was going to travel somewhere, like to the doctor on the bus, you can forget that I tried that. That bus bounces around so hard, you, you mess up your picture. So, but, you know, like sitting it inside the doctor's office waiting, you could. Um... So it's, you know, but that's my fair and honest review. And that's how I feel. And don't get me wrong, they're a good set, you know. It's just, it's preference for me about the dark colors. Or like I said, somebody else would just love to have all the dark colors. And I'm getting squirrely and repeating myself. You got to forgive me, though. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm used to my dog waking me up at 4 in the morning wanting to play. I miss that dog. I miss that dog something awful. Okay, guys. Well, that's the finished swatch. And the, um, well, no. there. Now, I could have kept going with that and got a real nice flower out of it, but, you know, we all we need to see was that. And that's my last, I gotta get another, I've got another new book over there because I done filled this one up. So, the Colorist Companion is what I use. It has a coloring book log, you know, coloring book name, author, date, purchase, rating, you know, and and then you have pages where you, uh, there, there is watches. There is a section back here. Yeah, coloring page notes. Um, the book name, the artist, date started, date completed, notes, um, color, names and numbers, and the swatch of the color he did. And, uh, yeah, so it's, I, I love these. And they're by Ava Brown. Spelled B-R-O-W-N-E. Ava is A-B-A. Ava Brown. Okay, guys. So, that's the final swatch for that set. I don't have any new sets because I haven't bought any new ones yet. Uh, you know, I go down into the deep rabbit hole of Amazon to see what I can find. To bring y'all, you know, if I see something that's like relatively cheap, what I would call budget set, uh, I I'll think about it, and if if I think it might be something we'd like, I buy it. But I do, I search, I I leave no page unturned on Amazon when it comes to stuff. I will go until it won't scroll no more. So, 
Okay, everybody, please smash that like button. Smash that like button. Give it a black eye. I don't care. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I want to say welcome to my new subscribers. And y'all returning subscribers, y'all know I love you, right? You're my family. We're all family, even my new ones. Okay, guys. Um, Till the next one. Peace out. Bye.